I am Daniel Kolak Obelu, Senior Pastor of Latter Life Ministries here in Lagos, Nigeria. I would like to talk to you on the theme, Taking Full Advantage of Calvary Provisions. Obediah 17, from the Word of God says, Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Which means, as a child of God, if you must enjoy the full benefit of Calvary, you've got to live holy and you've got to be delivered. Deliverance is one of the major ministries of our Lord Jesus Christ. So to say that there is no deliverance is to belittle, is to undermine the ministry of Jesus Christ. And not to live holy, to uh, undermine holiness in the guise of grace is a misapplication of scriptures. It says, upon Mount Zion, the church of God, there shall be deliverance and holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Then, talking about deliverance, I want to refer us to root deliverance, or what we call dealing with faulty foundations. If you must be totally delivered, you must deal with your faulty foundations. I'm talking about involvements before you got to know Christ, which consequences are still affecting you. I'm talking about involvement of parents and ancestors in sins and iniquities. I'm talking about involvement of our families, of leaders of our lands that have consequence upon our life. We've got to deal with all this if we must enjoy full Calvary provisions. Very many Christians are surprised why they have prayed to stupor, they have sown special seeds, they have given, they believe the word of God, they quoted the word of God, they've done all manner of things recommended by scriptures, yet the scriptures seem not to be fulfilled in their lives most likely they are dwelling on faulty foundations. I want to recommend that you get to know your roots. You get to know the foundation upon which you are operating from. Jesus Christ likened two foundations in Matthew chapter 7 when he was comparing those who listen to him uh, with those who listen and do the one. One was upon sandy foundation. When challenges came, they collapsed. The other, on strong, rocky foundation, the state. You need to ensure that though you are a Christian, you are on a rocky foundation, you are on the right foundation. By dealing with the consequences of sins and iniquities from your parents, from your family, from your background, that are still affecting you. In 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17, it says, If a man be in Christ, all things have passed away, all things have become new. In verse 18, it says, And all things have become new through Christ, who has reconciled us to himself and has committed unto us the means of reconciliation. You need to get your foundation reconciled so that you can enjoy that full benefit. Till I come across you next time, when I'll be expounding on 40 Foundation, I say, God bless you. Happy viewing.